Welcome back to Garage Gym Gains. This is Ricky, and if you're new to the channel, this is where we check out everyone's home gyms. So if you have a home gym or you're thinking about building one, hopefully this channel is a fantastic resource you can use to steal ideas. The way you steal ideas is by checking out the channel and seeing what other people do. If you wanna give some people some ideas to steal, go through the link down below, go to the garageandgains.com website and submit your home gym for review. Totally free to you and then we get to check it out on the channel and it's a lot of fun. Today, quick video, we are checking out Chris's gym. He calls it the selfie station. And I need to figure out how to turn my notifications off. I suppose I need to put it in, uh, maybe we need to do do not disturb. We'll put it in focus. There we go. I keep forgetting on my laptop. I'm new to Mac, so cut me some slack. But we are now going to take a look at Chris's selfie station gym. No excuses. Let's get into it. Selfie station gym used to be the West Side Band sweatshop during quarantine. The West Side Band sweatshop. All right. That's all I had when we started. Bought everything down on the Facebook Marketplace by me and Jay. And built this gym for free too. Buying stuff, selling it, upgrading, and this is what I ended up with. Free home gym, that's usually the best type of home gym because you have no money out, which is awesome. We, see, we saw that uh, four or five video goes. I think we had one where the dude just flipped gym equipment until he was able to basically end up with what he had. That's actually how I had my garage gym as well. So if you want a video about that, uh, let me know, I guess. I don't have the home gym anymore, but I can definitely do a video on it. As of now, here's my deadlift platform. Whoa! Okay, this is already way, this is way more equipment than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, normally when it's like a two minute long video, it's because you go down there and there's like one squat rack and then an exercise bike. Uh, I think we need to buckle in for this one. We might have to take a, a few takes through here. I don't know. Gotta see any calf raises. That is, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it down kind of piece by piece, I believe. That has to be like the first calf raise ever made or that somebody just made it. Either way, I mean, it looks like it works. You lift up the apparatus that goes on your arms, you do the calf raise, the chain pulls the weight up. Pretty simple, I like it. Calf raise. Leg press, nothing fancy. Just get the work done down here. Chris, I feel like a leg press doesn't really qualify under nothing fancy. Most home gyms don't have a leg press, so very cool. We're off to a good start. Have the GHD in the back, and this appears to be, I believe that's a bike. GHD, a little stepper. Nope, stepper. Whoa! This just in, uh, Chris is jacked. So there's that. Leg. Paramount leg extension. Paramount makes some really good stuff. It's hard to find. I came across a pendulum squat by Paramount a while back. I actually ended up selling it to somebody that was, I believe he followed the channel, which was very cool. Um, I guess if you're watching this and you bought the pendulum squat from me, Comment down below. But they make some really good stuff. It's just hard to find. Big extension. Leg curl. Seated leg curl, the press, the Viking press in the back, and it looked like also a mace over there, a weighted mace. Seated leg curl, fantastic option. Most people are more familiar with a lying leg curl, but at least for me, I don't know if it's just the novelty of the seated leg curl, because I don't use them as often, but I prefer them for sure. Over here, I got a little bit of storage. Oh my goodness. Treadmill, bike. 
So we have a plate loaded a functional server. trainer. Got some attachments on the lane line here. Seated calf raise. Got plenty of plates down here. It's usually just me and maybe a buddy or two that come down here to train. Chris, you have a lot of weight down there. That's awesome. New T3. Reverse hyper. There's the bands that started it all there. Smith machine. Uh, these rep benches, they're the only things I didn't buy off Facebook. You got a, right here, power blocks. And then I have the bigger weights here. Oh. First off, excellent choice on the benches. I love rep fitness and that's why I'm an affiliate and you can go through the link down below if you want to support the channel and you plan on buying anything. Don't just buy something because of the link, but if you're already planning on buying something, click through that link. But he has up to 145s, which is significantly heavier than we normally see in home gyms. But Chris also looks like he needs the 145s because he's jacked. I almost have up to 100, missing a couple here and there. And I got 125s and 145s, a few kettlebells. Then I got a ab coaster here, preacher curl, a couple specialty bars, and this little multi gym here. Little heater, it's Ohio. It stays cold down here all the time. Heater's a good idea. But this is what I call my little plate again sports. <laughs> that was amazing. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the middle. It got a little bit overwhelming, I'm gonna be honest. So we're gonna watch. The, the last half through again. I was, I'll try to stop on pretty much every piece. Obviously we have a treadmill over here, stationary I'm bike. Have a little bit of storage. I'm gonna mute it. Lots of storage over here. We don't see those shelves used as often as I would assume people would use them. It's a great, there's a lot of depth to it. So you put a lot of stuff on it. It doesn't have the cool aesthetic that the rogue storage systems and stuff do, but still obviously, Really good option and much cheaper. Rolling around the plate loaded functional trainer. That is again, a really good option. Personally, most people are gonna prefer a pin loaded, but that's significantly harder to move, much more expensive, and also usually harder to find. So those three things kind of, those are the cons of the pin loaded machine, plus of the plate loaded machine, uh, normally cheap, a lot easier to move. And people, especially not only are they cheap on the new side, when people are selling them after the fact, they also go pretty cheap on marketplace and stuff. But still a really good piece of equipment. It looks like he has the high pulley as well as the low pulley. I don't know if that's adjustable or not. I'd assume it isn't. But that's a really good piece. Obviously, push downs, pull downs, face pulls. I mean, you've worked out before, you know what you can do on there. All right. The seated calf raise, that is a good looking machine. Loads of plates. We have the regular standard plates, looks like some poly coated plates over here. Maybe hand and strength, maybe iron grip, who knows. The rep benches, Titan T3 with I believe Rogue's, oh yeah, those are Titan uh, monolift attachment as well, and the neutral grip. T3 is a really solid rack, guys. Don't sleep on the T3. I know it's cool to have the RM4, the Rep PR5000, or the 3x3 one inch racks. Those are very cool, but probably a little bit of some overkill, if we're being honest. If you're balling on a budget, maybe just start with a T3. You can always upgrade in the future. They hold their value decently well. Maybe you lose a hundred bucks on it. Oh well. Try it out first. If you decide you need a bigger rack, go with a bigger rack at that point. Reverse Hyper, or the Titan HP and D as they would say. That was my tabletop in the garage gym. That's mostly the only thing that I did with it. I occasionally used it, but that is, that's a really good piece. Very solid, one of my favorite pieces from Titan. The bands that started it all. 
Very old looking Smith machine, but it looks solid. I like it. Old school dumbbells, also has the power blocks. He said he occasionally has somebody down there lifting with him, so power blocks can get those lighter weights. Ab coaster in the back, one of my favorite core machines. I just like it. What else do we have here? Preacher curl, okay, so I missed the preacher curl the first time. I'm a big fan of preacher curls, normally at dumbbells. I don't really like using an easy bar, but that's neither here nor there. I like a preacher curl. We have the Titan multi-grip bar. We have, I assume, a Titan safety squat bar. I can't tell. I have the multi-gym. He is in Ohio, so he needs the heater because it gets cold. And I somehow missed the bag hanging right in front of our face there. But Chris, thank you so much for sending in your home gym. That's absolutely awesome. Honestly, way better than I thought it was gonna be when I saw that it was free and the, the video is only two minutes long. You totally over delivered on that. So much stuff in there. I love your home gym. Everybody comment down below what your favorite part of Chris's home gym is. And while you're down there, don't forget those links in the description help out the channel if you are to buy anything through them. And if you want to see your gym on the channel, you can also go through the garagegymgains.com slash submit link that's in there, and that's going to take you over to the webpage. That's going to walk you through exactly how to get your video onto the channel step by step, and then have the form to actually send it in to me so that it gets on there. Very simple. Hopefully a lot of people do it so that we can make more content. But my favorite part of Chris's home gym is, hmm, I'm going to go with the Titan T3 rack. And that probably comes as a little bit of a curveball, but I have some reasoning behind it. And that is that I think it's one of the most overlooked racks really on the market. A lot of people ride off Titan and they want to go rep, rogue, sword X, whatever. But that's also mostly because they're wanting to get a three by three rack and not everybody needs that. You can go the real cheap route on Amazon or you can step up just a couple hundred more bucks, get a two by three rack like the Titan T3 and that's gonna bring you up to a lot more accessories and things that you can put on the rack. It's gonna be plenty strong enough and when you're walking out your squats, it's narrower so you have less chance of hitting the sides and doing the wobble on your one rep max. That's not a good time to do the wobble. There are good times to do the wobble. That's not one of them. <laughs>